faith, we are going to have it. We are looking at Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. I have it today. I said I have it today. I will not be denied. You will not be denied. Romans chapter 10. I'm reading from verse, from verse 8. But what says it? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth, that word of victory is now in your mouth. Amen. When you pronounce it, the miracle will come. Amen. The joy of the Lord will fill your heart. Amen. And in thy heart, that is the word of faith which will preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Look at how simple salvation is. If you will believe in your heart and confess with your mouth and say, Lord, I quit my sin. I drop my sin. I believe I ask, I take Jesus Christ as my Savior because I believe he died for me on the cross of Calvary and he rose again for my justification. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation that's how we have salvation that's how you're going to have it acts chapter 3 verse 16 acts chapter 3 verse 16 and his name through faith in his name has made this man strong this is the outcome of our faith if you're sick in fact the sickness of this man it's not like just normal sickness. This, he was born in this condition. He was born paralyzed. He was born lame. And there are some conditions that people have from their birth. And if you have had some generic kind of situation or disease, something degenerating in the body, and then the people who know about that field, about medicine, they say, this is something that is natural with you. That it is your makeup or whatever it is. It generates something. It runs in the family. But today, it will not run in your own body. Yeah. It's going to be taken away in Jesus' name. Yeah. By faith. And it says the faith that this man had, that you see him now and know him. Yeah, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. He'll give you that perfect soundness in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 15 verse 9, the outcome of faith. Number one, there is the coming down of those Jericho walls. Number two, there is that salvation. There is that conversion. The grace of God coming into your life, making you now a child of God. And then look at this. Number three is the healing, the deliverance. By faith, we have that healing, that deliverance already in Jesus' name. We're looking at Acts chapter 9, chapter 15, verse 9. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by what? By faith. The sanctification, holiness of heart. Holiness and purity in our spirit, in our soul. Purifying their hearts by faith. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Lord, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? They that have clean hands and a pure heart. How does that happen when somebody has had a defiled heart, a dirty heart? a wandering heart, a soiled heart, a sinful heart, a depraved heart, all along. It is by faith. It is this same faith that will believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and he shed his blood and that cleansing, purifying, sanctifying blood touches your heart and cleanses your heart. And when you believe that, sanctification will be your heritage in Jesus' name. And he put no difference between us and them, whether they're Jews or Gentiles, whether the people of the past generation or people of this generation. There is no difference. Sanctification is always by faith. Purity of heart is always by faith. Holiness of life is always by faith. Purifying their hearts by 
faith. And then he tells us in First John chapter 5. First John chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 4. First John chapter 5, verse 4. For whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Brothers and sisters, there are many things in the world. Many things in the world. We, can't, we cannot even begin to number them, and we cannot exhaust them. But whatever they are, whatever they are, coming from a demonic source, coming from a satanic source, and coming from a carnal source, and coming from an idolatrous source, whatever it is in the world, our faith will cancel everything. Give me a good, good amen. amen. Because it says over here, whatsoever is born of God, young or old, she might be just a new convert and a young convert and a person that just came to know the Lord, but you are born again, you are born of God. It says whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even what? Our faith. The gracious, glorious outcome of our faith. That as you believe the Lord today, everything the world has tried to bring upon you, you're going to overcome everything today in Jesus' name. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, and I'm reading from verse 16. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. This is wonderful. It makes us to understand the importance of faith. Remember now the object of faith, the object of faith, that's the almighty God and his word. His unfailing word, his supreme word, the word that overcomes and conquers and crushes every other thing in our lives. The object of faith and now the obedience of faith and what he tells us to do, we just do and then the glorious outcome will happen to us. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16, above all. Everybody say above all. Again, above all. Again, above all. Let me explain that to you. You know, sometimes you come to church and say, you know, I did this and I got this and I took this and I possessed this and I, and I understood this. And it, it says now, above all. Above all. It's like when you're traveling. If you're traveling by air, for example, you pack this and pack this and pack this, and then you're just about to go out, and then somebody says, How about your passport? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I took all my clothes, I took all my books, I took my computer, I took everything I wanted. I just forgot the above all. That's a passport. That's a thing that will get you there. The face. That we have been God, that we know once you are holding on to God like this, nothing will be able to overcome you. That's why it says, above all, taking the shield of faith. Taking what? The shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench. Tell me the rest aloud. Anything remaining after all? Once it says, all the furry darts of the wicked, all, everything without exception. The sickness, the calamity, the sorrow, the attack, the affliction, the poverty, all the curses, everything coming from the pit of hell, their shield of faith will overcome everything today. Whatever you feel in your body, you feel in your life, you feel in your family, whatever you sense, whatever you see. The shield of faith, that's why it says above all, beyond all, whatever it is you've got, whatever it is you possess, this is the greatest of them all. Therefore it says above all taking the shield of faith, where which you shall be able to quench, today I will quench them. I said, I will quench them. I will subdue them. I will destroy them. And not one of them will remain. Amen. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. In Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. We're looking at it from verse 17. Romans chapter 4, verse 17. As it is written, it will happen to you as it is written. 
Whatever you say today, what is written in this word will cancel it. Whatever you feel, what is written in this Bible will cancel what you feel. Because what is written is stronger and greater and weightier than anything you may see or feel around you there. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him. Um, he believed, even God, who quickness the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. Calleth those things which be not as though they were. Calleth those things which be not as though they were. That means then, as you go out after the prayer today, whatever you are asking for, you'll be calling those things which be not as though they were. I say, praise the Lord, I am healed. Praise the Lord, I possess my blessing. Praise the Lord, I've got the miracle. Praise the Lord, signs and wonders are following after me. Praise the Lord, my enemies are shut up, they are conquered. Praise the Lord, provision has come unto me. Praise the Lord, I have the victory from today. Do I have the victory? Do you have the victory? Calling those things would be not as though they were who against hope, believed in hope. That he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken. So shall thy seed be, and be not weak in faith. That's the secret. That is the secret. Be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. But he was strong in faith. We are strong in faith. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded. How persuaded are you? How persuaded are you? That God will answer our prayer today. How persuaded are you? That this year is going to be a different year. How persuaded are you? That your miracle is coming on the way already. How persuaded are you? That your enemies will not see your downfall or defeat. Or defeat. How persuaded are you? And that barrenness will not continue in your life. How persuaded are you? That victory and success dominion will be yours. How persuaded are you? And being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform in your life today what god has promised is able to perform and in your ministry what god has promised is able to perform in your family what god has promised is able to perform in your body right there right in your flesh what god has promised is able to perform and right now we're going to stand up knowing that when you are standing you are standing by faith and you are claiming it by faith. And you are telling the Lord by faith. Don't pray like you used to pray. Don't talk like you used to talk. Don't think like you used to think. Don't meditate like you used to meditate. Know that this is a new day. A new time. A new era. A new year. And the blessings of God will be abundant already this year upon your life. In Jesus name. Why don't you open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Understand the object of our faith. The object of our faith. The Almighty God is that object. The object of our faith. His word is the object of our faith. And they are not the words of men. They are the words of the Almighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said... In Jesus' name we pray. This year will be a glorious year. It will be a wonderful year. And it will be a year when all the tears in your eyes, they are rolled away and wiped away. In Jesus' name. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes. Please remember, please remember, we want to move in now to that promised land. And we don't want to leave anybody behind. Everybody, we're getting in now. I said, we're getting in now. Do you know the very first step to that is salvation? 
the very first step to that is when you leave the wilderness behind and you leave all your sins behind then you come to the silver and say lord jesus you are my savior i come to you i'll never go back to my sin all the sins i committed in the past i abandon everything now i believe that jesus christ died for me on the cross of calvary and from today and forever for the rest of my life i give my life to christ when that is done that's what is called salvation heads bowed and eyes closed you're giving your life to the lord jesus christ right now and you're saying, I abandon the wilderness life. And I give myself totally to the Lord. And I'm going to be for the Lord for the rest of my life. I'm waiting for you. It's going to be a, a channel and the very gateway to the victorious life. You'll never be the same again. I said you'll never be the same again. Where well, are you? Just raise up your hand. I'm praying for you. This victory prayer. Everybody say victory prayer. This dominion prayer. Everybody say dominion prayer. If you are going to have it in Jesus' name. In all the halls, everywhere, you are hearing the sound of my voice. I'm waiting for you now. If you don't do this, you are going to remain back in the wilderness. I don't want to leave you back in the wilderness. Salvation is very important, very essential. That leads you into that victorious life. Where are you? You want all those sins to be forgiven, canceled from your life. And the blood that Jesus Christ shed on the cross of Calvary to become the very thing that pulls you into the promised land. Where, where is your hand? God bless you for that hand. You're raising up your hand. I'm going to make you take a step of faith, obedience of faith now. You're going to come out from where you are. Take your Bible, whatever you have. Take it and come to the front of me here. I want to make sure that the victory and the dominion and the power gets on your life directly. Nothing between you and I. Where are you? Keep on coming. I'm waiting for you now. I want to just take your Bible, your bag, whatever you have. Thank you. In front of me here. Or over here. Over here in front of me here. Where we are now, we are coming to the Lord, and the Lord is accepting you now. Yes. Are we ready to pray? Yes. And those of us in front, are you ready to pray? Yes. You are ready? Yes. You'll never be the same again. Yes. Why don't you raise up your hand? Those in front only, those in front only. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes. I thank you for these, my brothers and sisters. They have come into the kingdom, and they have left the wilderness behind. Oh Lord, I pray. They will never go back to Egypt or the wilderness in Jesus' name. They believe on the Lord Jesus Christ who died for them on the cross of Calvary. And so their sins are totally forgiven and forgotten. And I pray no sin will be remembered against them anymore in Jesus' name. And all my brothers and sisters in all the halls, as they're giving their hearts all over to you again, because they have been saved before and born again, they are just renewing their commitment unto you. I pray, oh Lord, any fault, any error, any wrong, oh Lord, forgive in Jesus' name. And I pray now, their sledge and their record will be clean before you. And I pray now, everybody will move out of the wilderness. I will move it to the land of Canaan and the land of promise in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray you confirm it in the heart of everyone. All these people that have come out, Lord, I pray the Spirit of God will be a witness that they are now children of God. Confirm it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, I am saved. Say that, I am saved. My sins are forgiven. I'm a child of God. I've left my wilderness behind. I'm now a child of God. Now, miracle time. I said miracle time. You know, this year, all things are possible. This year, all things are possible. We don't want to see tears on the face of anyone here this year. No sorrow in the heart of anyone here this year. No calamity in any family here this year. Signs and wonders. Miracles. Answers to prayer. Healing. Deliverance. Prosperity. All the blessings you're asking the Lord, the Lord will affirm and confirm in Jesus' name. Our leaders, our workers, our members, everyone here, the blessing of the Lord is abundant upon your life. Are we ready now? Yes. I said, are we ready now? Yes. Will you see the glorious outcome of faith? Yes. I mean, of us are waiting for the outcome. They are waiting for the outcome. Are you ready for it now? Yes. Keep those hands up. 
as high as possible is going high. Yeah. And you'll be high in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, after this time, don't let any negative word come out of your mouth. Yeah. Just say anytime as we go now that God has answered my prayer. Yeah. My Jericho walls are falling down. Yeah. And I have the victory in Jesus' name. Yeah. Keep those hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I send your word of power and authority over everyone now. And so their prayers in Jesus' name. All the Jericho walls before them. All the difficulties before them. All the challenges before them. I come against them now in the might, in the power, in the name of the Lord. Come down in Jesus' name. Any sickness there, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Whatever the sickness in the, in the body, in the system, in the brain, 